Hi guys, Roman here and today I'm sharing the best ever cookie recipe and we're gonna make it even better by filling it with Oreo cookies, Maltesers and chocolate chip and walnut. Grab your ingredients and let's get started. Now because these cookies only last a couple of days because everybody pinches a few, we're gonna make a massive portion today. But as always, all the ingredients and a link to a printable version of the recipe is in the description. So we're gonna start off by creaming our butter. So make sure it's at room temperature. Ours was a little bit cold, so you can see the machine was shaking around a bit. But now that it's creamed up, we're gonna add in the brown sugar and the white sugar. And you will see in the ingredient list that we are actually using three different types of sugar. So make sure you check that out before you start baking your cookies. Now once we cream the sugar and the butter together, we're gonna add our eggs. And make sure you add them one by one so that they combine really well and you get a nice creamy dough. Now that our eggs, butter and sugar are nice and creamy, we're gonna add in our flour. And you can see that we're actually using two different types of flour. Half of our flour is a self-raising cake flour and the other half is an all-purpose flour. Next, we're gonna add in our secret ingredient where there's a bit of cornstarch, which is significantly going to improve the texture of your cookie. Now we're gonna fold in our ingredients. Our first batch is walnut and chocolate chip. And then we're gonna use an ice cream scoop to form our cookie balls. Before we bake our cookies, we are going to refrigerate them for 30 minutes. And that's gonna make sure we have an even butter temperature so that all our cookies look the same and have the same nice texture. This just looks like a delicious ice cream and I would love to eat it, but don't, there's raw egg in there. Well, off to the fridge we go and we're gonna prepare our next batch. And for this, we're using Maltesers. If you like Maltesers as much as I do, you should definitely check out my Maltesers cake. You'll find the link on the top right of the screen. Same process again, off to the fridge, and let's go to our last and final batch, which is a real cookie. Can you think of anything better than a cookie inside a cookie? So form your cookie dough balls and send them off to the fridge for 20 to 30 minutes. And then we're going to bake them at 195C or 390F for nine to 12 minutes, depending on your oven. So make sure they're just about golden brown and then get them out of the oven. Now your perfectly chewy on the inside, crispy on the outside cookies are ready. Thank you for watching another episode of Urban Treats. As always, if you liked the video, please leave us a like or subscribe. And we're back every Wednesday with another cooking or baking video. Thank you for watching. See you next week. <laughs>